Hi, good afternoon everyone. Um, Nicole and myself have been asked today by Sally to discuss the benefits of hand hygiene. The benefits hand hygiene can have within many sectors of patient treatment. We both work for CureMel, which provides pathology services across many regions, in clinics, hospitals and patient home visits. Nicole and I are based at two different hospitals, Nicole mainly being based at the Wesley and myself at St Andrews, both of which provide stat lab and specimen collection services within the hospital and the surrounding clinics. With Nicole and I both possessing a similar passion to meet the highest quality standards, we both undertook the gold standard auditor certification for hand hygiene approximately seven months ago. As specimen collectors within the hospitals, we work closely with nurses and other medical staff. The role involves collections in many different environments and many different types of patients. To patients, the pathology work undertaken can often be seen as an extension of the hospital's work. And due to this, it is important that all patient interactions, including those from QML staff and other external providers, meet the high standards displayed by the hospital staff, even though we undertake different training. To do this, we work closely with the infection control nurse in our respective hospitals to collect moments of hand hygiene on a regular basis with our gold standard auditor training. With this, we are teaching team members how to prevent healthcare associated infections, as some staff members have limited or no previous medical experience. It is important for us to ensure all team members are being monitored and enacting the five moments of hand hygiene. Working in many different environments, as mentioned earlier, it's not uncommon for external providers to be ill-equipped with the knowledge to meet the stringent hygiene controls displayed by hospital staff. As many of you may, as many of you have probably experienced firsthand, people tend to diminish hand hygiene, especially those who don't have a medical background. This is where Sally's work has become valuable to us. She has provided us with the skill and knowledge that required to ensure we are actively training and mentoring our staff members to ensure that they are meeting the highest possible standard to prevent healthcare associated infections. With Sally's expertise, our GSA training allow us to explain in a clear manner many aspects of hand hygiene protocols, including glove use to new staff and the risk of contamination with body fluids, protocols surrounding, glo um, surrounding gloves per single patient, washing hands with soap and water when hands are visibly soiled, and using alcohol-based hand rubbing clinical situations where hands are not visibly where hands are visibly clean. Helen and I became gold standard auditors to implement and change Kilmel's hospital standard operation procedures to be relevant with those of the hospital staff and provide the same level of care. Hygiene, hand hygiene courses have now been implemented for our staff members to ensure they have the required knowledge to ensure that our, they are equipped to meet hand hygiene Australian standards in all working environments and situations that may arise. Since Helen and I have become GSA auditors, we, um, our, we audit our staff on a more frequent basis with staff showing acceptance of the five moments of hand hygiene. With Sally's implementation of these five moments, it has pr provided us with an easy framework to teach the employees to ensure they meet the, standard de the standards development. With the frequently ordered of hand hygiene, it has had a significant impact on the perspective our employees have on the five moments of hand hygiene. It can be difficult sometimes to ensure all our staff members are aware of the benefits the protocols bring. However, Thanks to the framework Sally has helped us implement, it has helped us ensure we are providing the best end of care for our patients. Thank you.